Damn, this is hard. I thought yeah. I knew my burgers. Tastes like a cheeseburger. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so confused now. So cheeseburgers have been around for the longest time. And there's so many restaurants. Which one's the best? Well, today we're about to find out. Because I have all eight restaurants. But this is so much food. I can't do this alone. Whoa! <laughs> we're on the price point. How many calories is it? And which one's worth? Getting into your diet. You guys ready? We out. We out. <laughs> we out. What's going on? It's your boy, Louis show. You know how we do. And I have two special guests with me. Christian. Ty. And guys, remember the last video they were in? It was the Filipino Street Food Festival. So it's been a while, right guys? It's been a while. But today we're gonna try something different. We're gonna find out which one has the best cheeseburgers. Which one do you guys think? I would say Five Guys. I'll go five Guys. In and, out. in and Out. Okay. Well, we're about to find out. Hey, that runs. But before we get started, this is a fitness channel. So we have to go over my four rules. You guys know my four rules? No. No. <laughs> well, guys, let me go over it. I still don't know. It's our third video and I don't know. <laughs> the first rule is I follow the 80 20 rule. 80% of my calories come from whole foods, which means lean meats, fruits, and veggies. And 20% of my calories come from foods just like this. My second rule is we want to skip our training, we want to skip our workout, we want to skip our cardio. I personally like to go in the morning and get out of the way, but you can go anytime you like as long as it fits you and your schedule. Hey, what time do you guys go to the gym? 5 a.m. 5 a.m. 15. 6.15. I'm more of a in-between. The third rule is we eat our mains calories or below. So when you eat our mains calories, you don't gain weight, you don't lose weight. If you eat above your mains calories, you gain weight. If you're below it, you lose weight. What if you don't know your mini nuts calories? Well, Christian, lucky for you, I have a free calorie calculator. Just go to bringthestreads.com slash tools. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Just type in your info and you'll be good to go. And the fourth and final rule is we don't drink our calories on this channel. Unless it's vodka. Shots. Shot? <laughs> Shot. Let's do it. Cheers, guys. Cheers. All right, cheers. And cheers to you at home. Make sure you're 21 and over. All right? Oh, that's some good uh, H2O. <laughs> so, guys, here are the rules. We're going to go one by one. We're going to be blindfolded. And each person's going to have to guess which burger came from which restaurant and which one's their favorite. So, let's go over the burgers first. So, we have eight restaurants to go over. So, we'll go one by one. See which one is which. First, we have McDonald's cheeseburger. Then, we have Jollibee. Jack in the Box. Then, we have In N Out. Then, we have Wendy's Burger. Carl's Jr. AKA Hardee's. Burger King. Burger King. And last but not least, Five Guys. My favorite. You sure it's gonna be your favorite? I think it's gonna be in for a rude awakening, but I don't know. We'll see. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys. First, we have Christian. So, Christian, you ready for your first burger? I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> So Ty's gonna pick a random burger, and then I'm gonna show the bag of which one it is, okay? It's on the table, and I'm gonna show the camera. So this is the first one. So Christian, it's on the plate right now. Go ahead and grab it, and go ahead and take your first bite. Mmm. What do you taste? What do you think it is? Mmm. Hold up. With the onions in there? Mmm. That doesn't taste like Burger King. Maybe... Jack in the Box? Okay, Jack in the Box. And what do you rate it? It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, yeah. so Christian's first one is Jack in the Box and it's all right. Ready for the next one? Yeah. So I'm gonna show the camera what bag, where is this from? All right, go ahead. Oh, what does it smell like? They all taste the same now. <laughs> <laughs> or they all smell the same, I mean. Mmm. Mmm. This tastes like uh, Jollibee. Jollibee, okay. The number two is Jollibee. I actually like that better. Yeah? The okay. second one is so better okay. than the first one. All right, so this is the third one right here. All right, go ahead, Christian. Mmm, very dry. I actually don't know what it is. I'm not a big fan, actually. Uh, I'm not sure what Wendy's tastes like because it's been a while. Okay. So I don't know what the just, Wendy's Just pick a guess. Or you, you want to guess later? I'll probably do Wendy's. Wendy's? Okay, yeah. so Wendy's. But you can change it later. You can change it later. Yeah. Okay. All right, next one. Oh, wait. All right, so this is the next one right here. All right. Go ahead, Christian. Not this one. No, no, this is your old one. Oh, <laughs> this one. This one, this one. All right. Mm. I still don't know what it is. Mm. It's better than the last one I had, okay. but I'm trying to get that familiar smell from the other burger joints I've had, but I can't tell. Some places, like you just know, right? But right. Some other places. Right. Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Mm. All right, next one. Well, this one's bigger than the other ones. Is that a hint? Is that a hint? I don't know. You tell me. All right. Mmm. 
Five guys? I would say five guys. Five guys, okay. All right, next one. So this is the next one right here. All right, go ahead, Christian. Yes, that's the one. In and out? Okay, so you think that one's in and out? I think so. I think this is in and out. Okay. So I would place this second. 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 And, and this one you said is what? Uh, probably in and out. Okay. Okay. So this is the next one. Damn, this is hard. I thought uh, I knew my burgers. Hmm. It's kind of dry, but I don't know what it is. What do you think it was? Just a guess. I'm not too familiar with the flavor. Is Wendy's, Carl's Jr., and Jack in the Box. Okay, and those are hard. Those are like, they're all very similar. Especially if you don't have that distinct taste or go there often. Jack in the Box? Okay. Again, maybe. Okay. <laughs> I said the first one was Jack in the Box, but I could be wrong okay. now. All right, last but not least. All right, go ahead. Hold up. It tastes like McDonald's. Okay, McDonald's. So, all right, so final verdict, do you want to change anything or you, you're good? I'm not sure if I labeled everything correctly, but I know for sure that I like the second one second first. One. And that's the one you said was Jollibee. And my second one is number five. Which you said was in and out Yeah, and then the third one was six, which was I thought was Five Guys, and then this was Donald's, yes. Okay, what was your least favorite out of all of them? Um, I think the third one was kind of dry. So, with that being said, Christian, blindfolds off. You are correct. Jolly B was number two. It was? Yes. Oh, wow. So, so his third favorite he thought was Five Guys, was actually Carl's Jr. But you guys tricked me. You said like, oh, this is massive. And, and, and no, it, it was, no, it was. I know, but like, I, I knew for a fact that Five Guys is always like a it's massive really, oh, burger. Sure so it kind of put yeah. something in my head. Well, technically I got the little cheeseburger at uh, Five Guys, not the regular. So what was that three, four, four out of eight? Three out of eight. I, I would say four of eight, right? Four out of eight, but he did guess the ones he liked the best. Right. All right, moving on. All right, guys, so I am next. I ordered everything. So uh, please like and subscribe, cause uh, it was a lot. So I do know some of the ingredients in some of them that aren't in others. However, a lot of them, I'll be honest, they do feel like they're gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be tricky, just like Christian's, you know? Yep. All right. This is it. <laughs> this tastes like cheeseburger. This has a little bacon to it, no? I'm gonna say the first one is Wendy's. What do you think of it? It's cool. Cool? Yeah, it's all right. It has um, bacon in it, so I think it's Wendy's. The junior bacon cheeseburger, I think it was. This one has sesame on top, so um, we'll see. When I ordered Five Guys, it has sesame on top, but this Burger King, I think Burger King has too. So I'm gonna say Five Guys for this one. I think. <laughs> it's cool. Nothing too special. I think the thing with Five Guys is that you have to add all the condiments and stuff for it to be good. Third one. Mmm. Okay, Christian, I think I know what this one is. Because you like it? Yeah, it's kind of like a sweet flavor to it. So I think this one is Jolly Bees. Third one Jolly Bee? I think so, yeah. Which one do you like so far? The third one, for the sure. Third one? Yeah. The fourth one. Fourth one. Let's do this. Actually, this sounds like <laughs> this sounds like foil. This is gonna be Five Guys. From the sound, it sounds like foil. And with from the sesame, I think this is Five Guys. So I take it back. So the first one is Wendy's. So I'm gonna switch that to um, Burger King. Shall I be? This one is Five Guys. Cause I heard the foil. Oh my god. Yeah. Mm, like Christian said, it's dry. Five Guys. Mm. Good All right, let's do this. What the hell? Wait, what in the world is this? This is really good. Is this Jolly Bee? I think this is Jolly Bee. Which one is your favorite now? This one. You think this one is Jolly Bee? I think this one is Jolly Bee. Third one too. I'll pick Carl Jr. for the, oh, that one. Just for now. We'll see. No, the other one. This one is Jolly Bee. Oh, uh, pick was Wendy's. Second was Burger King. So this one I feel like has a lot more um, inside, like tomatoes, something like that. So I'm assuming it's going to be. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be uh, in and out, but we'll see. Yeah. Mm hmm. I know my burgers. In and out. Look at Dano. Oh, this is a big one. Which one was this again? Let me try. So 
But this one has lettuce in it. Okay, this is throwing me off. Which one has lettuce in it? Which one has lettuce in it? I forgot. You want to switch it up? No, let's do Jack in the Box for this one. Even though I don't think that's right. And last but not least, has to be McDonald's. Is it right here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. McDonald's for sure. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The only one that threw me off is the second to last one. It has uh, lettuce in it, which I don't know what that is. See how you did? About five for eight. Okay. Professional cheese burger. <laughs> What's your favorite? I would have to say, surprisingly, Jollibee, right? I agree with you. But then in and out yeah. same thing with you. in and out second. Yeah, yeah. And it was your least favorite. I really want to say like Five Guys or... Because it was so plain. Because I got a plain guys. It had all the lettuce or whatever. But I will say this. Whatever the lettuce one was, that one was really good too. Just because it has lettuce in it. Carl's Jr. Okay, Carl's Jr. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was good too. So I think Five Guys. Which is surprising because I have Five Guys. And it's also, guys, the most expensive. Last but not least, we have Thai. I'm vegetarian. I smell... Bacon. Where's my face? No sesame buns. I taste bacon. So Ty's been serving it the whole time, so maybe you have like an edge on both of us. A little dry. Patty's a little overcooked. Not enough sauce. I think it's Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box, okay. No. All right. Mmm. It's very thick. It tastes like the patty is um, charbroiled. Okay. And Burger King, they're known for charbroiling their patties, but I feel like this is too big for, for Burger King, so I would go with Five Guys. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. No. So the first one you said was uh, I'm Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. And then this one you think is. Uh, I'll go with um, Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. All right. Let me show the bag. Mm. McDonald's. You sure? Mm hmm. Okay. Not pickled, give it away. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The sauce. Sauce, okay. The onions and the pickle. I'll go with McDonald's. Okay. That's a big one. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Patty's actually pretty different, but good compared to the last three. The sauce is good. And the bread is light, so it doesn't overpower what's inside. The cheese is pretty good. I'll go with, um, Jollibee. Jollibee. Okay. So now it's four so far. Four more to go. Pickles. It's too much mustard in here. Five guys. Five guys, okay. It's a little dry. God, that's a big one. I think this is the big guy. The Which one? Five, I think this is the five guys. And then what I thought was the five guy was probably Burger King. And this is the five guy. Yeah. And then I think what I thought was the five guy earlier is Burger King. And you never said Burger King yet, right? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, yes. This is Wendy's. That's Wendy's? Yeah. And last mm -hmm. but not least. Yeah, in and out. <laughs> In and out? Are you sure? I don't know. I'm so confused now. Probably In and Out. I don't know. This one has onions. This is probably the Carl's Jr. one. Okay. And then I'll change the Carl's Jr. one to In and Out. I'm okay. so confused. You said you wanted to switch the last one to Carl's Jr. Yeah. Okay. So the second one, and then the second one is In and Out. Probably. All right. So go ahead and blindfold off. So Which? you had a lot of it, but you switched your answer. So the last one was In and Out. Really? Yes. Which one was your favorite? Oh, the Jollibee one was pretty good. Jollibee. Yeah. The Jollibee one, just the bread itself was pretty light. So it really helps you um, appreciate what's on the inside. Uh, what I didn't like, I think, was Jack in the Box. It was too dry. There wasn't any sauce inside. It was bacon. The patty was a little overcooked. And the bun was a little too hard, I guess. So it was just overall dry. All right, guys. So there you guys have it. So what do you guys think? Are you guys surprised with your guys' answers? Anything like that? I'm actually surprised. Jollibee was not on my list in terms of the burger. Yeah. Uh, it became my number one. And the Filipinos. <laughs> Surprisingly, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, Jollibee's burger is pretty good. Do you think it's like the sauce is sweetness? There was a little sweetness to it. That's what I liked about it. What really surprised me was the um, Five Guys. I think that's the one with the, the charbroiled flavor. So to be fair, I did get it just the plain with the cheese, but like no condiments. Maybe that kind of altered the 
flavor a little bit. Does that make sense? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But there's some um, burgers that we kind of like has a distinct uh, flavor to it, like McDonald's. We got, yeah. got it right away. The three of us got it. Got so it. You already know which one is McDonald's. If you guys grew up on McDonald's, you guys know what a McDonald's cheeseburger tastes like. Everything else was a yeah. Everything else very like surprising. some of them like the Burger King, Wendy's, Jack in the Box. All of them taste similar, but it was hard to tell their their flavor, right? Yes, sir. All right. So guys, with that being said, I'm gonna end the video here. Do you guys have anything else to say? End the video. I'm full. I'm full too. <laughs> <laughs> with that being said, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Bring the Stress. We're all about moderation, not deprivation, because life is too short for brown rice, chicken breast, and broccoli all day. Am I right, guys? Yeah. yeah. Don't forget to bring the shreds, and I will talk to you soon. Peace.